Welcome, dear viewers. In today's video, we delve into the life and legacy of Ion Antomescu, Romania's controversial prime minister during World War II. We'll explore his military background, political rise, and the impact of his regime on the nation, as well as the contentious debates surrounding his historical significance. So, without further ado, let's dive into the fascinating and complex story of the Iron Marshal. A figure of intense debate, Ion Antomescu, born June 2, 1882, and meeting his demise on June 1, 1946, held the esteemed position of military officer, statesman, and Romania's prime minister during the tumultuous era of World War II. Romania's alliance with Nazi Germany was a hallmark of this time, and the Iron Marshal, as Antonescu was known, left behind a controversial legacy riddled with questions surrounding his involvement in the Holocaust and his regime's detrimental impact on the nation. Hailing from Potesti, Romania, Antonescu embarked on his military career early, enlisting in the army in 1900. Swiftly ascending the hierarchy, he attended the prestigious École Supérieure de Guerre in France, achieving captain status by 1911. Antonescu's exemplary service in World War I, marked by his presence on the Romanian and Russian fronts, garnered him accolades and the admiration of his comrades. In the interwar period, Antonescu's career flourished unabated. Named Chief of the General Staff in 1933, he set about modernizing the Romanian army. However, tensions with King Carol Ida led to his dismissal in 1935. A political resurgence in the late 1930s saw Antomescu appointed Minister of Defense, and amid a political maelstrom in September 1940, King Carol Ida named him Prime Minister. Antonescu seized the opportunity to force the king's abdication, subsequently becoming Romania's de facto ruler and aligning the nation with Nazi Germany. With an iron fist, Antonescu spearheaded an aggressive campaign, invading the Soviet Union alongside Germany in 1941. Romania reclaimed territories lost in the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact and expanded its dominion over parts of Ukraine under his leadership, earning him the moniker the Iron Marshal. Regrettably, Antonescu's regime was moored by ruthless repression, a proclivity for ethnic cleansing, and the obliteration of political adversaries. A harrowing number of Jews, Romani, and other minorities faced deportation or death, with Antomescu's government enacting draconian anti-Semitic laws in accordance with Nazi doctrines. As World War II's pendulum swung against the Axis powers, Antomescu's stronghold began to wane. The Soviet Union invaded Romania in 1944, and King Michael I, Karol Ida's successor, orchestrated a coup against Antomescu. The Iron Marshal was incarcerated and Romania promptly defected to the Allies. Post-war, Antonescu was surrendered to the Soviet Union, only to be extradited to Romania. There, he stood trial for war crimes and crimes against humanity, culminating in his execution by firing squad on June 1, 1946. Antonescu's legacy is rife with contradictions. To some Romanians, he remains a national hero for reclaiming lost territories, yet others vilify him as a war criminal due to his association with the Nazis and the atrocities that took place under his regime. Despite this contentious narrative, the indelible impact of Ion Antonescu on Romanian history is undeniable. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life and legacy of Ion Antonescu. As we've seen his actions and decisions during World War II continue to spark intense debate among historians and the public alike. If you found this video insightful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more captivating content like this. Share your thoughts on Antomescu and his controversial place in history in the comments below, and stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care and see you soon.